In this section, we're going to look at headers, footers, and page numbering. Now, the easy way to insert a header is to double click on the header area up here, and it will change like this. And then you can just simply type in your header. So, for instance, I could type in something like a guide to SEO in this case. And you can use the usual formatting techniques. I could click on the Home tab here, and I could center it if I wanted to. I could um, edit if I want, so I can change that to a capital G. Um, I can make it bigger, use a different font, all the usual things. And uh, the same way, if you wanted to put a footer in down the bottom here, you would just double click in the footer area, and again, you could type in something like uh, maybe your name. So in my case, David Murray. Something like that. If I press undo to get rid of that, and I'll get rid of the header as well. The other way of inserting headers and footers is to click on where it says insert here, and then, um, so we're in the insert tab, and over here you've got a header and footer command. So if you click on where it says header, for instance, you can have all of these different types of headers here. So if you wanted something fancy like maybe this one here, you could have a header there, and then on page two it looks like that, page three looks like that. If you wanted something different, you could say, okay, let's undo that, and let's see what else we've got. So you go to the insert tab again, go to the header area here. Uh, if you wanted something different, maybe this one here with um, this orange bar, there you are. You put the document title in there, or we'll just call it SEO Guide. And if we scroll down, obviously you can see that's on every page. In the same way, I could go to Insert, Header and Footer, click on the footer, and again, I could have different types of footers. So let's say I wanted a footer that looks something like uh, this. There you are, it's gone in, and there's my name, David Murray. And it's also inserted the page numbers as well. So I'll undo that. Let's say you just simply wanted to insert page numbers without um, putting text or anything in. Again, you could go to Insert. Within the header and footer area, you click on where it says Page Numbers here. And there's various options. You could have it at the top of the page. Let's say you want it at the top of the page and centered. You could click like that. I'll undo that and see what else we've got. So I'll do this again. I'll go to uh, Insert, Page Numbering, Top of the Page. And as we come down here, you've got various other options. So for instance, here, you've got page one of one. So if I click on that, that's page one of seven, page two of seven, page three of seven, and so forth. So as you see, it's very, very easy to put headers and footers in. If you want, you can go for something slightly more advanced. So let's go down to the footer area here. So I'll double click in the footer area down here. And I'm gonna put something like, um, document stored at. Now this time I'm going to insert what's called a field. So what I want to do is to have a record here of what the document name is, which is um, it's called headers, and also where it's stored. So this is just an example of, you know, slightly more fancy footers. So I've typed in document stored at, then if I go to where it says click parts here, and then go to field, what I can do is go down to where it says file name, uh, there it is, and I, uh, it'll automatically insert the file name, and if I click on this, it'll automatically insert the path. So I click on OK, look what happens, it says document stored at, that's the bit I typed in, and this bit here is inserted as a field, and it basically tells me that's the name of the document, and it's stored in my document subdirectory.